Hello everyone, well it's Christmas Eve which means of course this is the final advent video of this year so I hope you've enjoyed all 23 videos so far so let's have a look what's in the box for the final video. Ah well that looks uh, very familiar gentleman there. I think he's going to be giving a shout out to a few of his younger vacuum fans. Hello everyone and welcome to a very special video just for the youngest of vacuum enthusiasts out there. Yes, I'm doing a special shout out video for all you young vac fans. So without any further ado, shall we see who the first person is I'm going to say hello to? Well, the first little VAC fan I'm going to say hello to is Jacob, and he's two years old. Hello, Jacob. Are you looking forward to Santa coming tonight? I wonder what you're going to get for Christmas. I hope it's something nice. Anyway, I've had a little message from your mummy, and you've been obsessed. Hoover obsessed, your mummy says. And you got a Hetty Hoover for your second birthday. A toy Hetty or a real one? Surely not a real one. Did you get one of these, Jacob? I think you might have got one of these. I'm not sure. But anyway, what a lovely thing to get. So, Merry Christmas. That's to Jacob, who I think may live in Essex. His mummy's mentioned Essex, so I think that's where Jacob lives. So, uh, Happy Christmas to you, Jacob. The next little boy I'm going to say hello to is Sydney and he's aged five. I think I've said hello to Sydney before when he was a bit poorly with chicken pox. I'm sure he's much better now. Are you Sydney? Yes? And you're looking forward to Santa coming? So am I really. I've got lots, lots to look forward to. I think I've got, uh, maybe I'll be getting a few vacuums tomorrow. Your mummy says you watch my videos all the time and your mummy's even got a Shark True Pet vacuum after seeing my demonstration. So, uh, oh, and your mummy sends love to Daisy and Molly. Well, I don't know where Molly is, but Daisy's just over there watching me eagerly. So, uh, happy Christmas to you, Sydney. Now then, who else have we got on my long, long list of people to say hello to? Ah, well. This little boy's also had a shout out before last Christmas. This goes out to Caden, who is a very big fan. And how Caden is now six years old and he lives in Tasmania. He wants to save up apparently and have an overseas trip. Apparently he wants to come and see me. Why would you want to see me? You can watch me on YouTube. Much cheaper that way. It costs a lot of money to get an aeroplane to where I live. Anyway, Caden loves all sorts of vacuum cleaners, especially the Vorwerk. I don't know if I've pronounced that right. <laughs> and they don't have a very big range to choose from in Tasmania, which is in Australia. So, hello Caden, happy Christmas again. You be good boy and see what Santa brings you tomorrow. Well, actually it'll be tonight, won't it? As long as you're asleep. Okay. Let's see who's next. Well, we've got a picture with this one. Wow, that's a big vacuum cleaner to push. That's a Dyson. That looks like a Dyson Ball DC-15, but I haven't seen that colour before. We didn't get that colour in the UK. Well, I don't think we did. Anyway, this goes out to three-year-old Elliot, and he lives in New Zealand, very far away again from me. He's a huge vacuum cleaner fan and loves my YouTube channel. He, he recreates your big mess tests any chance he can. Well, don't make a mess, will you? It makes a lot of mess, doesn't it, those big mess tests. I hope you enjoyed those ones I've done over the past few weeks during my Advent series. They were a lot of fun to do, but you have to clear up after them. Let's see what else. Oh, apparently Elliot goes seeks out vacuum cleaners wherever he goes well i used to do that elliot when i was little if i used to go to friends houses or relatives i used to say where's your vacuum cleaner what vacuum have you got 
and sometimes I wouldn't even ask them I'd just go and sneak around normally would look under the stairs that's where vacuum cleaners used to be kept when I was a child yes oh that's very good Elliot also tells the owners about filter maintenance which is very important keep your filters clean and because your filter is like the lungs of your vacuum cleaner and if they get all clogged up it doesn't suck properly does it that's why you have to keep your filters clean on a vacuum so well done Elliot for informing people about simple vacuum maintenance it's very important happy Christmas Elliot hope you get something vacuum cleaner related in your stocking tomorrow look at this picture of a Henry cake I've been sent so this is for Rowan from Goodwick near Fishguard he loves Hoovers and all my videos especially the ones with Molly and Daisy who try to video bomb my videos occasionally well Molly's upstairs but Daisy is just behind the camera so we may see her later I'm not sure she's asleep at the moment ah Rowan remembers last Christmas when I opened a Barbie doll poop Barbie well Barbie didn't do the pooping it was Barbie's dog yes I got sent for some reason I got sent a Barbie with a pooing dog I've still got it somewhere but some poor little girl has got a vax attachment instead of me never mind Santa does make mistakes sometimes doesn't he anyway you've just had a birthday so that cake was for your birthday you had that in October so that's lovely oh I can see what Santa could be bringing you I'm not going to say it's a surprise but I think you'll be very happy tomorrow morning when you see what Santa's brought you you're a very lucky boy that's all I'll say so happy Christmas to you Rowan and that's for me and your dad Oliver are you all right there Henry Cordless are you okay you still got enough charge in your battery don't worry I think I'll take that out and charge that up tonight yes mm-hmm I know it's Christmas soon isn't it I don't know what you'll be getting right sorry about that got to uh, another picture here look at this lovely Christmas tree and how many Henry's is that I can see a toy Henry two toy Henry's and a real Henry oh and look there's one of those Henry cleaning trolleys so this is a shout out to Oscar and Mia I think that's how you pronounce it they are both huge pneumatic fans so I wonder if Santa's bringing you something pneumatic that would be great wouldn't it for you so you're having a great time playing with your Henry's there aren't you so happy Christmas to Oscar and Mia the next vacuum fan I'm going to say hello to lives in Singapore and his name's Benjamin and here's a picture of Benjamin he's got one of the toy Dysons and there's another toy upright and look at that stick vacuum he's got it's taller than him isn't it wow so hello Benjamin from Singapore that's a nice little collection you've got there I wonder if you're going to get anything more to add to your collection tomorrow that would be nice wouldn't it so happy Christmas to you Benjamin in Singapore the next vacuum fan I'm saying hello to is Liam and he's aged four and he lives in the USA here's a picture of Liam stood in front of his collection of toy vacuums and a very nice Christmas tree I can certainly see a Dyson ball upright there and this, is that the DC 14 you've got as well you've even got a Henry and there's another toy upright and I think that's the Henry cleaning trolley as well so a nice collection for a four-year-old Liam that's fantastic hopefully your collection may be getting a little bit bigger tomorrow I don't know it depends what you've asked Santa for but I suspect you might have asked him for, for another vacuum am I right don't forget fast asleep tonight and then Santa will bring you something very nice I'm sure probably more than one thing I'm sure you're a very good boy and Santa will give you something very nice maybe something to add to your collection so hello Liam 
all the way over there in the US of A. Well, the next little boy I'm going to say hello to is Damon, and he lives in Kansas City, Missouri. Now, I'm assuming his name is Damon because his mummy forgot to tell me your name, so I had to have a little bit of a look on your mummy's Facebook page and I found out that your name's Damon. I hope that's right. I hope your mummy doesn't mind me looking, but I couldn't say hello to you, could I, if I didn't know your name? And look, your mummy's sent us a lovely picture, so I'll show everyone this picture. And you're using various different vacuums in this, aren't you? That, that red one there, that handheld, looks like a dirt devil. Looks very like my Vax Gator that I have, but it's a different colour. And that, look, you've got a big shop vac type machine there. It must be very noisy because you've got the ear defenders on, haven't you? And then there's a little stick vac you're playing with in the other picture. And I'm not sure, is that a model you've made? I can't really tell. It's a bit small, the picture, Damon. But it looks like you might have made a model of a vacuum. I used to do that. So happy Christmas to Damon from Kansas, Kansas City. I nearly got it right, Kansas City in Missouri. And that's in the US of A. Happy Christmas to you and uh, enjoy Christmas Day tomorrow and playing with all your new toys, which may include, who knows, if you've asked Santa for a vacuum, he may come up trumps for you, if you've been a good boy, of course. Well, I've got a very quick one for the next shout out. All this says is, my son loves vacuums and he is a massive Dyson fan. My child's name is Leon. So hello, Leon. If you're called Leon and you're a massive Dyson fan, it's you I'm speaking to. I've got lots of Dysons coming up on my channel next year. So I think you'll be very pleased with all the Dysons. And well, fingers crossed, I've asked Santa to bring me a Dyson, so I might be opening a Dyson tomorrow morning. That'd be fun. So hello, Leon. I'm glad you like vacuums. They are fun, aren't they? So that was a very quick one. There's no picture, so I can't show you what Leon, uh, Leon looks like. Sorry. The next one, we have a picture. Oh, look, that's Elliot vacuuming with his little toy, Kasdan. He's only three years old, but look what's on the television behind him. That looks like one of my videos. I think it could be. I hope it is. You shouldn't be watching other videos. No, you can watch any videos you want, Elliot. So, you've got the toy Dyson. Oh, you only got it, well, today, but that, uh, it was sent a while ago, so you've had it a while. Oh, you cop, oof. You've learnt my video word for word. Well, that's very clever. I wish I knew my words off by heart. <laughs> so, there we go. So that's from your mummy, Elliot. Your mummy, Rebecca, has sent that picture. You're a very good boy, aren't you? You make sure you clean up. Don't throw lots of dirt down because that little toy one can't pick up a lot. But maybe when you're a bit bigger, you might be able to have a real vacuum of your very own. That would be good, wouldn't it? So, hello, Elliot. Happy Christmas. Now, who's next? Oh, well, we've got another American viewer. And there's, look, there's four pictures of little Xander. He's seven from Arizona, USA. And, oh, apparently he's one of my biggest fans. So, oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Sander. And his love of vacuums started at the age of two and a half. Well, that's a bit after me. I was about 18 months old. That's what my mum says. But you were two and a half and you saw your first shark vacuum infomercial. Much better than those cartoons, aren't they? Those infomercials. I didn't get things like that to watch when I was a, um, a young boy like you. Oh no, I'd have loved that. All I could do is hope that a vacuum um, television commercial would come on the TV and I'd be, oh, I want that. But you, we can watch half hour, full half hour commercials now. Anyway, so you like your sharks, but uh, it's a bit hard to see. You've got a lot of toy vacuums there, haven't you, on the couch? I think that's what you call them in America. We call them sofas or settees here. 
I think you call that a couch. There you go. Well, there you've got you've got a shark there. I can see the handle for a shark. Look at that. So that's fantastic. So happy Christmas, Sander. And happy Christmas to to your mummy, daddy, all your family. Hope you have a great time. Maybe you'll get something. You maybe get another vacuum. Do you think you will? Have you asked Santa for one? I'm sure Santa has been getting a lot of vacuum requests. I bet he thinks it's a bit odd. All these vacuums. So, right. So that's Sander from Arizona. I think I'll play with my little ball. Look at this. I only got this today. It's a Henry Beach ball. I'm not sure where you normally get them because I got this from eBay. Isn't that fun though? It's got Henry's face on it, look. And there's Henry's face too. Do you want to play with it? Shall, shall we play ball with Henry Cordless? I've been using Henry Cordless recently. I think he's still got some charge. Let's try. Ooh. He's still got two bars showing on his battery. You want to play catch, Henry? Come on. Uh, oh, careful. I know, we can't really catch can he's no arms. You can, you can head the ball. You're going to head it. Go on then. Whee! Fantastic. Good boy. Are you still okay up there? All right. Da Daisy's moved away, but she's still watching, folks. Daisy is just behind the camera and she is staring. She won't take her eyes off these <laughs> you're quite safe right time for the for the next shout out so wow let's see oh, we've got some pictures oh another lucky li little boy who's had a henry cake made look for his fifth birthday this is kai let's let's read what uh, your mummy has written for you kai good morning would really appreciate if you could give a mention to my son Kai who is five. He absolutely loves your channel. He watches you as soon as he gets up in the morning. Oh, and when he gets back from school as well. Oh, well, dear me. He talks about cleaners day and night. So did I when I was your age. All my family and relatives, they said, oh, you're not talking about vacuums again. So I know what it's like. <laughs> Jaws pictures, yes, I did that. Make some out of Lego and Play-Doh. I did that too. Nothing changes, does it? And you prefer, <laughs> you prefer going to Curry's than soft play. Well, Curry's is your playground, isn't it? Especially if they've got them plugged in and, and the rechargeable vacuums charged up so you can have a good play with them. That's fun, isn't it? It is nice to go to Curry's and other electrical shops and look at all the vacuums, isn't it? Wow. Let's see. Oh, the first thing you look for, Kai, when you go on holiday, is the vacuum cleaner. Well, I do that too. You might, you might have seen some of my holiday videos. I always show the vacuum. And you're getting a collection of your own. Your favourites are Henry's and you've got a few Dyson's. Wow, look at that lovely cake. You lucky boy. And there's another picture. <laughs> Can you see? Can you see with that Henry? I think that's one of those Henry, is it like a laundry or a pop-up? It's one of those pop-up Henry bins. I haven't got one of those. I should get one. I don't think I'll put it on my head though. I won't be able to see where I'm going. Oh, you like mini Minions as well. Do you like Despicable Me? I like those films too. I'm a bit old for them, but they are fun. So there we go, Kai. Lovely cake. Oh, I bet all your friends enjoyed that too, didn't they? So happy Christmas, hope Santa brings you something lovely. Hello desktop Henry. What? No, Daisy won't be interested in you. You're made of hard plastic. She won't chew you up. You'd feel safer if you were up there. Well, there isn't any room, is there? I can't, I can't, you know, it's gonna to topple over. There's gonna be a, a tragedy. There's gonna be a big pile of Jack, James, Hetty and Henry's, and we can't have that. Um, no, I, I, I can't risk it. Look, you'll be quite, look. I've got Henry Pet. Can you see, kids? Look, Henry Pet there. What I'll do, I'll put little desktop Henry on top of Henry Pet. You'll be safe up there. And look, there's Santa. You hold Santa's hand. 
Well, you can't. Never mind. Santa's busy using little Henry anyway. There we go. Honestly. Daisy, you're, you're scaring these vacuums, aren't you? Poor things. Right, on to the next one. Right then, let's have a look. Deary me. Now, this, well, we've got, we've got little children from all over the world. This little boy is called Mark and he's only just become three years old. He's only three and he lives in Germany. That's where Miele vacuums come from and SIBO. I wonder if he's got any Miele or SIBOs. So let's see. He loves toy vacuum cleaners. Oh, he loves, you all love Henry, don't you? I think it's a nice smile, the happy face. You all love Henry. He loves his toy vacuum cleaner, Henry. And he even, well, I did that. He sleeps with Henry. So instead of a cuddly toy or a teddy bear, you sleep with your Henry. Well, when I was very, when I, well, I think I was about three, just like you. I used to sleep with a toy Hoover Junior in my bed and it's made of hard plastic and metal. Not very, not very nice to cuddle. Not like one of these soft ones. You should see if you can get one of these. You can actually cuddle these ones, can't you? Pop that back up there. Oh, hang on. Oh, should, I shouldn't have moved them, should I? Right. Anyway, there's the picture. There's a picture of little Mark. That's a very nice bright top you're wearing. And I bet your head's all warm with that woolly hat on. And what's that? There's something peering over your shoulder. Is it? I thought there's a, li there's a little bear or something peering over your shoulder, a little blue bear with black eyes. What's he doing? Is he f he's photobombing you, Mark, isn't he? Happy Christmas to you, Mark, in Germany. You'll have to see if you can get a lovely Miele vacuum in Germany. Now then, on to the next one. Have we got, oh, we've got a picture. There's a picture, look. A couple of vacuum fans. And these uh, vacuum fans are from Edinburgh. I assume that's Edinburgh in Scotland. I don't know if there's another Edinburgh. I've, I've been to Edinburgh a few times and I've always been very, very cold in Edinburgh. I must go in the summertime when it's not so cold. I don't know how the wind goes up Princess Street. You need your thermals on. Anyway, that's the picture of Alexander. Now, is that Macy? Have I pronounced that right? I, can't, I don't think it'd be Mackie, is it? I think it's Macy. I'm sorry if I've pronounced it wrong. I think that's Alexander and Macy. They love watching my videos. Happy Christmas to you both. And... Uh, Happy hog money as well, but you'll be in bed for that. Your mummy and daddy might be up for that. Having a few um, orange squashes ringing in the new year, but you'll be fast asleep, I expect. Well, the next little boy I've got to say hello to is Sydney, and he's five years old. And your mummy tells me you like to visit Tesco and you try out all the Hoovers and Dustbusters. And he says, he watches my videos religiously. Well, thank you for watching, Sydney. Happy Christmas to you. Hope Santa brings you something very nice. Well, the next young VAC fan I've got to say hello to is a little bit older than some of them. He's 13, so he's a teenager now. He's called Andrew Miller. Hello, Andrew. Your mummy's told me that you're a big fan of mine and watch my videos all day long. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy them. And your mummy says, you've had a fascination with hoovers since you could walk. Me too, Andrew, me too. There we are. So happy Christmas to you, Andrew Miller. Well, the next shout out I've got is for a little boy called William. And he's going to be eight years old on the 31st of December. So you'll get all your Christmas presents. And then a week later, you'll get your birthday presents. I don't know if that's lucky or not. Anyway, happy Christmas, William, and happy birthday coming up very soon. I wonder if you'll get a Henry cake. Let's see. Well, well, this has to be on record the youngest I've known anyone start liking vacuums because you weren't even born, your mummy says. It says here, when your mummy was pregnant, when you were in your mummy's tummy growing, you would dance. 
You would dance in your mummy's tummy when she was hoovering. <laughs> and when your mummy stopped hoovering, you would kick her. That's not very nice, is it? <laughs> Deary me. Well, that has to be the youngest ever. Before you were born, you liked vacuum cleaners. Well, I don't think anyone else can top that. Wow, William. <laughs> you love Kirby. Well, did you enjoy my Kirby video earlier? Did you see that one? I've got that one. Don't, oh, you can't see it, look. Silly me. There, well, it's just there, look, the Kirby tradition. So you, you love Kirby, and of course you love Henry. Who doesn't love Henry? And that's from your, your mummy, Jane. So, poor mummy being kicked, William. I hope you don't kick her anymore when she turns the hoover off. I expect you do the hoovering, do you? I know I did when I was a little boy. My mummy was quite pleased I like vacuums because I did all the hoovering for her. So happy Christmas to you, William, and happy birthday as well for, well, for New Year's Eve, isn't it? Another little boy to say hello to, and by the looks of this picture, another Henry fan. So look, this little boy is called, I hope I pronounce this right, Oran? Oran is it? Oran Stone, or Oran Stone. Oran, I'm gonna say Oran. I hope, that, I hope that's right. Anyway, he's called Oran Stone, and he's, he'd be super excited. If I said hello, are you excited? You're obsessed with hoovers. He wants a big Henry from Santa. Oh, I hope Santa brings you one. You've, you've got, that's a toy Henry, isn't it? You're holding up there. Oh, it will be, oh, wouldn't that be fantastic? Well, if you're a good boy, I, I don't know if Santa can get the Henry on his sleigh, but fingers crossed that when you wake up tomorrow, you'll have a real Henry. Look after him though, won't you? Make sure you keep his bag emptied all the time, put new bags in. And don't pick up anything you shouldn't, but you'll find him a lot more powerful than your toy one, a real one. Oh, that would be a great Christmas if you get that. I hope you do. Oh, look, that's, oh, I can just see your little brother. Just in the background there, look. But Henry's, ta Henry's taking centre stage of that photo, isn't he? So happy Christmas to you, Oran. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but you know who you are because that's your picture. That's your picture, isn't it? So uh, I hope you get your Henry. Well, the next little boy I've got to say hello to is two and a half and he's called George and here's a picture of him. And George is using a toy Dyson. A Kasdan one, isn't he? But, as well as the toy one, in the middle of that picture, that looks like a Dyson DC-24. And the bigger vacuum at the back there looks to be a Dyson DC-25, a real one. So, wow, three Dysons. Oh, you, little George has been watching my video since he was a tiny baby. <laughs> and he calls me Bazy. I'm Bazy. I don't know how to pronounce my channel name anyway. Is it I Bazy Ick? Is it I Bazy Ack? I've been saying Ack, but I think it's Ick. But I like Bazy. Hello, it's Bazy here. Next up, we have a little boy wearing some very smart glasses. This is Oscar. And his mummy tells me he started school in September. So he's a big boy now. Oh. Your mummy's told me something. Oh, you're, get, you're getting something very nice tomorrow, Oscar. Shh, I'm not saying you're going to get a very nice surprise. You're lucky boy. So, all you've had, well, you've done this now, but when your mummy wrote to me, you hadn't, but you had a dance show coming on the 8th of December. And you did, oh, you did three dances. Well, I hope that went well. Crikey, three dances, you must be good. Pretty good, yes, you're only four. Your mummy says you're pretty good for a four-year-old. You look very intelligent in your glasses. They do suit you. Anyway, so enjoy your dancing, enjoy your vacuums, and enjoy what you get for Christmas tomorrow. Right, well, I've had a very lovely message from Jacob's mummy, Anna. So I'll have to skip through this. Oh, dear me, Jacob's been poorly recently. 
So I hope you're a lot better now, Jacob. So, um, Jacob, apparently, according to your mummy, you've been in love with vacuums since you were two. That's about the time I started, I think. But you're now five and you're a very clever little boy. I'm sure you are. And you stand out beautifully. Yes, you stand out and you be proud of who you are, Jacob. And your mummy loves you very much. She certainly does and she's very proud of you. And it's very nice of your mummy to support you in your... Because it is a bit different, isn't it, liking vacuum cleaners? But everyone who's been mentioned today, obviously your mummies and daddies support you and they're quite happy for you to like vacuums. And there's nothing wrong with liking vacuums. I'm a grown man now. I still like vacuums. I don't know why. Still don't know why I like vacuums. But it doesn't do anyone any harm, does it? It's, it's fun to like vacuums. There's a lot of us that like vacuums, I can assure you. You're not alone. I thought I was the only one when I was growing up, but I wasn't. I just didn't know about all the other people. But everyone watching this, they're all interested in vacuums, aren't they? Oh, you've got a lovely collection. Oh, you've got, you've got a Di one Dyson. Ah, you were the ring bearer. Oh, that's a very important job, being a ring bearer, weren't you? And carrying, carrying the rings in your desktop Hetty. Oh, that must have been lovely. Well, I won't say, oh, hmm. Your mummy's told me something that you're getting for Christmas. Shh. Again, I'm not going to say what it is, but you'll like it. I'm sure you will. Uh, and you've got a little sister called Eliza, who's only two, who loves you very much, Jacob. I'm sure you look after your little sister, don't you? So thank you to your mummy, Anna, for that uh, lovely message. And happy Christmas to you, Jacob. Well, the next little boy I'm going to say hello to, your mummy sent me a little video of you, but I can't work out how to show it on here. So what I'll do, I'll try and take a still from it so we can all see what you look like. And your name is Billy. And it says here, all you want for Christmas is a Dyson DC-14 with three small cleaning tools. Is that the toy Dyson? Well, I hope you get that for Christmas. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Apparently, Billy, you love watching my videos and you have a particular fondness for Hetty. Hetty? Well, there's the real Hetty as well, isn't there? These are very soft and cuddly, but they can't vacuum. Do you remember my video from last year? I had all those Hetties, didn't I? And I tried them all out. Do you remember which one won? Well, actually, look, the one that won, oh, was Hetty Compact. Hetty Compact beat her big sister, didn't she? Do you remember that video? That's been very popular with all you pneumatic fans. Anyway, you like Hetty, you like the Dyson Zorbster as well, and the big ball animal. So, uh, your mummy tried to send a picture, but she couldn't. So as, as I said, you should, I should be able to put a picture of you from the video your mummy sent. And the video was you sending a message to Santa via your little elf, Coldy. So you've got a little elf friend, have you? I'm sure he's, he's given the message to Santa. Hope you get something lovely for Christmas. So happy Christmas to you, Billy. Before my next shout out, I've noticed a couple of dirty footprints on my carpet. So I've got all these pneumatic cleaners out. So I've grabbed Henry Pet. I'm just gonna clean this up. And then I'm going to say hello to the next young VAC fan. Well, I've no idea where these dirty footprints have come from. Do you remember last year's Christmas Day video when Santa left a load of dirty footprints on my carpet? I think what's happened, he's been here just now to see where to deliver my next vacuum cleaner. Well, I hope that's what's happened. Anyway, I can't continue with the video until I've picked them up, so I've plugged in Henry Pet. Let's see if we can get rid of these footprints. Well, that's much better. Thank you, Henry. 
Henry Pet, look at him, he's a good boy. Right, let's get this video finished now. I've got a few more vacuum fans to say hello to. It's been a long one, hasn't it? Well, I think we're nearly coming to the end of the shout outs, but I've got a few more to do. And the next one is for a little boy called Michael. He's four years old. He loves vacuums, carpet washers and steamers. And you have three real vacuums and five toy ones. Or mm, I won't say, but you might be getting a vacuum cleaner for Christmas. Did you ask Santa for one? Well, hopefully you'll get one. Your favorite brand is Shark. And there's a picture of you, look. Wow, you have got a lot of vacuums. There's, there's a real Henry there, and toy Henry. Is that that goblin I see? That looks like that goblin I did from Asda. And you've got some other toy ones. And is that a Henry cleaning trolley as well? Uh, and is that the Kasdan one, the Dyson Kasdan sat next to you on the sofa? I think it is, and is that a carpet sweeper too? That's a big collection for a four-year-old. I never had that many when I was four. Happy Christmas. Anyway, Michael, enjoy your day tomorrow. Have lots of fun vacuuming. With any luck, you might have a new vacuum to play with. Next shout out goes to Luke Sims. He's aged nine. And Luke has a cordless Dyson DC44 Animal, a Vaxair and a Henry. And he's ordered a Hoover Vortex for Christmas. And he recently recommended a Dyson DC40 to a friend and she loves it so much, thanks to your reviews. Oh, she's bought two, two Dyson DC40s, crikey. And it says, have fun opening your Amazon wish list. Merry Christmas, so Merry Christmas to you, Luke Sims. And I think I will have fun opening my Amazon wish list, and you'll see how much fun I have tomorrow when I open everything. So that will be fun. And I think there's some presents from other people as well. And there's one I think that's coming from Santa. So that'll be fun to watch. Tune in tomorrow for my big Christmas videos. Yes, there's going to be more than one on Christmas Day. So happy Christmas again to Luke Sims. My next shout out goes to nine-year-old mad professor Thomas, who's obsessed with vacuum cleaners. He spends many hours a week watching my reviews and recently bought himself a Kasha WD2 with his pocket money and keeps it neatly next to his bed at night. So hello Thomas, happy Christmas. Hope you get something lovely. You live in Shrewsbury, I can't pronounce it, Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury, there we go, in the UK, and that's in Shropshire, Shropshire. So hello to Thomas, sorry, hello to Mad Professor Thomas. Well, here's a picture of Charlie Smith, and he's three, and he loves anything to do with pneumatic vacuums. Well, you must be loving all this then, Charlie. And that picture, look at you, sat on your sofa next to Big Henry, and you've got, you've got a toy Hetty and a toy Henry, and you've got some of the soft ones as well. And looks like you're holding the handheld one, aren't you? Wow, what's this? There's another picture, look. Oh, that's spooky. Look, you've, <laughs> you've dressed as Henry for Halloween. Did you go trick-or-treating in that Henry? Where did they put the sweets? Did you suck the sweets up? That would have been fun, wouldn't it? So there you go, dressed as Henry for Halloween. So happy Christmas to you, Charlie. Hope Santa brings you some lovely things. And then I think this is the last one. I hope I've not missed anyone out. I think this is the last one. I've been through. I did miss somebody and I managed to, oh, oh I managed to do it. So um, I think this is the last one. Could this be you that's going to be mentioned? Well, if your name is Edward and you're age six, and you live in Norfolk, it's you. Yes, your mummy's got in contact with me. And uh, you love vacuums. Henry, we all love Henry, don't we? And you love Dysons. And you're a big fan of my videos. There's no picture. But happy Christmas to you, Edward. You know who you are. Edward, age six, from Norfolk. 
Well, that's about the end of the video. I'm sorry it went on for so long. I had no idea there were so many young vacuum enthusiasts watching my channel. I'd like to end by wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous and peaceful New Year. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow once you've had all your Christmas fun. If you want to see what I did on Christmas Day, watch my two videos. There may be three, but there certainly will be two videos for me tomorrow on Christmas Day. So please tune in for that. So until tomorrow, until next year, when I'll be producing lots and lots of vacuum videos for you. Have a good time, won't you? Be safe and be good. Bye for now.